Hi guys, this is James Dolan here, and forgive the forgive the toddler in the background. That's my little that's my little monster being crazy. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how much money you are going to be getting back on your TDI buyback. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a Volkswagen Jetta TDI 2010 that was affected by the Dieselgate. So what you want to do is you want to go to the um, you want to find the table that shows uh, how much your car is worth. I went to a website. Um, it's called Jallo Jallopnik.com. There's a. It's, I'll show you what it looks like. It's the first link that pops up when you type in um, you know anything having to do with how much am I going to get back for my Volkswagen diesel. The website looks like this and I'm going to show you real quick how to do the math because it does look a little bit confusing okay so I'm going to try to do this fast and stay with me okay alright I had the Volkswagen Jetta 2010 so see here I scrolled over to Volkswagen Jetta 2010 on the right hand side you're going to see two numbers you're going to see the first column is going to be for your buyback the second column is going to be for your modica modification the buyback number that you're seeing there is not the value of your vehicle. Don't be mistaken, that's not how much your car is worth. But, uh, I checked the value of mine back um, right around that time. I was thinking about trading it in, and it was right around 8,800, you know, in the best best case scenario. So that's probably right around the number that they have. Uh, for me, it's showing. Um, I was in Florida at the time. It's showing 14,087. So 14,087 dollars. And that number is the $5,100 base plus the value of my car at that time. So that would mean that my car's value was about, you know, was somewhere around 80, you know, 8,800, and they just add the 51 in restitution. So we're going to take that number that we got. That number is 14,087. We're going to write that down. We're also going to write down the modification number, which would be, say, if we decide to get our car fixed. Uh, that's the amount of money we would get for our modification. So that's going to be, uh, mine was $4,837. So this is buyback. This is mod. 4837. Mod up here. Okay? Those are our numbers. So if we get it fixed, this is the number we're going to get. Something to keep in mind though. 5100 that is the minimum restitution so this number that's not the real number if you can, you know whatever number if it's lower than 51 you're getting back 51 so just keep that in mind that's going to come into play later on okay so now that we have that done now that we know the, the number of what my car is valued at we are going to go to the next table which is going to be adjustment for mileage looks like this you're going to find how many miles your car had back in um, September. And they show a little math formula so of what the NADA um, goes by for uh, vehicle mileage. It's um, They estimate that you drive 1,000, that you drive 1,042 miles a year. That's if you don't have any kind of thing to show. I'm pretty sure some of them are going to go up. Sorry, not a year, per month. So, for me, it's probably going to be about 10 months ago. I think for everyone right now, it's going to be about 10 months ago. So, you're just going to multiply that times 10, and you're going to subtract that number, whatever that comes out to. I could do it for you real fast. You're going to come back with 10,420. So, that you're going to take that. My car has... Um, my car has 116,000 miles on it, so I'm going to take 116,000 and subtract minus 10 for 20, and that's going to give me 10580. Sorry, 105,580. 105 to 110,000. That's going to subtract. That's going to subtract one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars from my total amount up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and subtract that. 
So 14, 0, 8, 7, minus 1260, right? 7 minus 0, 7, 8 minus 6, 2, 0 minus 2, you take from the 4, make that a 3, make this a 10, going back to grade school here, aren't we? We're going to make this an 8, and 3, subtract 1 from 3, it's going to be 2, and bam, there's our number. So we come back with $12,827, right? This is not your buyback number, not quite, not quite yet. Remember this little number up here for your modification? Let's take another look at that. We have the modification number. We are going to go to the mileage. We're going to go back to the mileage. If you look over here at my mileage, let me see if I can zoom in. If you look at my mileage, which is, uh, you know, 105 to 110, sorry about the shakiness, 210. So we're going to subtract 210 for modification. That was the number that was right there on the... Um, on the right hand side to adjust for uh, the mileage. So we are going to take 4837. That was our number for our, how much we get back for our modification. We're going to subtract 210 from that, right? And that's going to be, here we go, we got to take zero from, uh, 0 from 7, give you 7, take 1 from 3, give you 2, take 2 from 8, that will give you 6, bam. So we have this new number, right? Six, two, seven. And remember, sorry, did I do that right? Oh, sorry, four, six, two, seven. Sorry, I didn't bring down the four. Remember, our number has to be at least fifty-one hundred dollars. Correct? That is our minimum. That is the base restitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number right here, and we're going to take this number right here. We are the the number that we're looking for is the difference between these two because they have to make us whole, remember? So they have to be at least at 5,100. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so we have 473. That's gonna be our difference. So you're gonna take that 473 and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna add that to your $12,827. So we're gonna do plus, let's see here, move, move the page up, 12, 8, 27, plus, what was our number? 473. 13, 13,300. Bam. That's what you're getting back. That is your total. That is your total of what you are going to receive for your buyback. What you're going to receive for your buyback, if I were to take the mod or no, sorry, not buyback, but what I'd receive for the modification if I were to take one, which I don't think they have a modification for my your vehicle, but if they did, I would get back just the regular 5100 because obviously that's the minimum that they have to give me. My number that they're saying would be 4627 for my for that's what I'd receive in restitution. But like we said, that is our minimum number, so that's what we have to receive. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about, uh, about my math here, um, definitely leave me some comments. But that's, you know, that's the way I read it, that's the way I understand it, and that's what I believe you will get back. Not this exact number, but if you follow what I said to do, go to the table, find how much they're saying you're, you know, you're going to get back for your vehicle, subtract your mileage, whatever your adjust uh, mileage adjustment is, and then you're going to do that for both the modification and the buyback number. And then you're going to take the number you come up with, which we came up with the 12, 1287. And then you're going to add the difference between your, the difference for your modification. You're going to add that to your buyback number. And that's going to give you your total. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.